Hey guys, this is Sergey. Welcome to my channel, Break the Matrix. I am super excited for today because I was working last night, just woke up and I saw a couple of things last night that came from the IRS, which is regarding to our stimulus checks. I'll keep you guys updated and posted on that as much as I can, as long as I'm not falling asleep. So as of last night, while I was working and taking my break, I saw that IRS sent an update to all of us that uh, Americans will receive the stimulus check by Thursdays, that IRS already sent majority of the checks out. Uh, and if it's not by Thursday, then it will be sent uh, by May 1st uh, as of this Friday. I will attach the links down below for your direct deposits if you didn't set it up yet. Once you on the IRS website and if you keep getting an error message, I found uh, from the IRS, directly from IRS, that there are few problems that you might be encountering. One of those that you might be typing your address in all caps that will give you the error message. Uh, the second one that you might have checked the wrong time. I don't know what that means. Maybe super early in the morning, super late at night. Uh, you have not filed your 2018 or 2018 or 19 taxes yet, and that your tax for 2019 might not have been processed yet. Uh, if you never file a return or usually don't file a return, that might be also a problem because your information is still not in the website. Uh, and uh, the other one is that you did not answer your questions correctly. You possibly also, there could be that you possibly got locked out on the website in the payment tool. And then the last one and finally is that your bank is not ready or struggling with uh, high demand of people at the moment. What does IRS need from you to help you to set up direct deposit online? There are a couple of things. You definitely need your social security number. You will need your bank account number and there are a few ways that you can get it from. You can either go to the bank and just ask your bank teller to give it to you. You can go log in online and look up your account number, route, routing number online. You can go to the mobile app and look it up there as well. It's usually at the bottom of your screen. And finally, you can get a check and look up your account and routing number on your check. If you have not filed your taxes for 18 and 19, you have to do it as soon as possible because IRS needs your updated information. And the last section I wanted to talk about is the non failure section. You are still going to get your stimulus check if you are qualified. What are the qualifications? Number one, you have to be U.S. citizen or permanent resident. Number two, if your gross income did not exceed $12,200 in 2019. If you are married, your gross income should not be exceeding $24,400 for the 2019. Number three, you are not required to file your federal taxes and or didn't plan to. So I will provide those links down in description below. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I will keep you guys posted on the updates. Thank you so much.